Welcome to Art Den, where we meet artists who live in Kirklees and the surrounding area to hear about their work, their influences and their sources of inspiration. My name is Judy Hinchliff and today we have an exclusive interview with Juliet Spencer of Juliet Min Artworks from Huddersfield, West Yorkshire. A self-employed mother of three and grandmother of one, Juliet is a professional hairdresser. She loves creating and enhancing beauty and meeting new people. Strongly influenced by both her black culture and her faith, Juliet rediscovered her passion for art during lockdown when unable to do hairdressing. Her hobby is now a great source of joy in her life and she receives many commissions. Join us as we delve into Juliet's experiences as an artist and discover the stories behind her artistic journey. Hi Juliet, thank you for joining us today. Hello and blessings. Thanks for having me. <laughs> blessings to you too, it's an absolute pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> so, we might well start with the questions. Could you tell us about how you began to do artwork? Well, I began to do artwork in the lockdown. Um, the lockdown, it was um, a very hard time for a lot of us and um, we couldn't go to work or do things that we normally wanted to do. So um, what it was is when the lockdown happened, I'm normally um, a freelance hairdresser and I wasn't allowed to go out to work. So that's when I started drawing. <laughs> Great. Do you want to describe a little bit of how that happened? Oh, well, <laughs> this is funny. Because um, just before the lockdown, my partner at the time um, must have said, if I didn't do hairdressing, what would you do um, for a living? Um, and I said, you know what? I was always good at art at school, but I didn't do it. But I, I would do art if I couldn't do hairdressing. So when the lockdown happened, my partner, just before the lockdown happened, my partner bought me some pencils for Christmas. And when the lockdown happened in January, that's when I started using my pencils. Oh, okay. So that's when I say I started drawing. Yeah. And then when I was drawing, I was just, you know, sketching with the pencil um, and just drawing little things. So the, yeah, that's how it started. Yeah, brilliant. And then you you went on and you sort of did some classes as well, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So what happened after that was um, I started um, sketching little bits of artwork and people, and um, I was putting it, you know, sending it to my friends and family um, in a group chat, and they were like, "That's not you. You didn't do that." And it's like, "Yeah, I did." <laughs> And then they encouraged me to like, you know, put some of, some of it on on social media, which I did. So, um, which um, helped because a lot of people um, really liked it. So from that, I was encouraged to um, do, go to um, a small art class, go back to college and go to a small art class, which I did. And um, yeah, so um, when I, you know, started going there and my lovely art teacher was quite impressed with me and he was like encouraging me to do more different things. So that gives me the confidence to push me forward and to create more. Yeah. yeah. I would say. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah. Right. So how would you describe your artistic style and what materials or techniques do you use? Right, so my artistic style is um, using pencils, charcoal. Um, at the minute, I'm use, I'm doing paintings at the minute, so I'm um, delving into acrylics and watercolours. But yeah, I do love to use um, graphite and um, charcoal to create um, whatever's in my mind <laughs> at the time. I do. Um, That's great. Yeah, yeah lovely. Thank you. Where do you find your inspiration and how would you describe your creative process? Yeah, so my inspiration is, well, for a start, I'm a black woman. So my culture is very, I'm very inspired by my culture. 
um, and my culture. Uh, my parents are Jamaican, and um, so I'm very inspired by the Caribbean and that roots and culture and all that thing that goes around that. Um, so yeah, so my creative style is um, as a black woman to try and put um, people that look like me in my artwork. And um, so it is like getting, you know, images of black women, black men, black children, well, black and brown, I don't really care as long as it's got that um, culture in it. Um, and to put it down on paper and to um, make something happen. Yeah, and how do you kind of kind of go about that? You know, how do you? What's like the process? Of you? So the process is of obviously a piece of paper or um, anything that I can draw on, um, and then you know I've got to get into the mood of it first, um, whether it's a reference picture or a picture that I've got in my mind that I want to like express on that piece of paper, or Oh, a lot of artists would say that black, that blank canvas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what can I do to um, enhance that? And um, yeah, that's how I think I um, I start off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah lovely. Thank you. Yeah. That's great. What challenges have you faced in your life, and how has art helped you to overcome them? Um, well, when the lockdown happened. Um, I lost my mum, well, I lost my dad first, um, just before the lockdown. So, so it was a very difficult time yeah. because um, I was grieving and, um, you know, the first person when the lockdown happened that I drew was my dad and um, that was quite, you know, emotional for me. So I always say that I think the artwork helped me, my, me and my grieving process because it gave me peace. I couldn't, you know, block everything out when I was drawing. And still now when I'm feeling slightly stressed, I just go to that place and start drawing. And all that is lifted because when I'm drawing, I don't have to think about anything, but just what I'm creating. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah thank you. Thank you. <laughs> What stage are you at in your artistic journey? Well, at the minute, um, it's been interesting because I really just take one day at a time with the artwork. I think it's, you know, whatever comes my way and if I feel comfortable to do it, I will do it. Um, so at the minute, we're, I'm selling artwork. Um, um, on stalls and putting my stuff out there on social media. Hopefully I'll have a shop where I can sell artwork soon. But um, in the spring, um, I've been, um, you know, chosen to do an exhibition. So I'll be doing that Fabulous. in the spring and getting that all together to yeah. do that. Yeah. Right. Fabulous. Yeah. Can you tell us a bit about that? Well, the, it was funny because um, um, I entered like, I don't know if it was a competition, but I think it was a competition. Um, and it was people from West Yorkshire. Um, if you've got any artwork that you'd like to exhibit and you feel confident enough to um, um, exhibit it, you can enter. And that's what I did. And um, the blessing for me is that they chose me. <laughs> <laughs> So that really like, you know, like, I can't believe they chose me. I've just started doing that. How can they just choose me like that? But they did. And um, so again, it's boosted my confidence and got me ready to um, move a step further with the art. Yeah. Brilliant. And where's that going to be? Do you have a date? Um, I haven't got um, a date as such, but it's going to be running for six weeks and it will be um, in the media center. Yeah. Here yeah. in Huddersfield. In Huddersfield, nice yes. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Fantastic. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. So, yeah. thinking about your finished works of art, yeah. can you describe one or two that are particularly important to you? Yeah. Well, I mean, when I'm drawing any piece of artwork or creating, um, 
there's importance to it. But the ones that are important to me right now is my um, my dad and my mum. Because um, it was a very emotional time when I was drawing these pictures. So when I was actually drawing these pictures, I was crying my eyes out. So yeah, these two are the most important to me at this minute. Yeah. 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 Those two. I mean, I'm going to draw them again. <laughs> oh, lovely. Yeah. But yeah, definitely these two. <laughs> lovely, thank you. So, when and where do you create your art? So when, when I've got two minutes, <laughs> because I'm very busy with having a family, um, a grandchild and um, everything else working. Um, so I tend to create when, you know, I always say Tuesday is my day of art. And um, it, it takes quite a long time because um, I've got to like get into the spirit. And when I'm in the spirit, that's it. I, I, I could be there for two, three hours drawing without drinking, without eating yeah because when you're in the moment you just want to get it done and yeah. you just you get excited my mouth starts watering when i'm drawing like <laughs> oh god oh i'm getting excited <laughs> so yeah i, I yeah that's me <laughs> yeah, is it, um, yeah. You, 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 yeah. I, I tend to do it in my bedroom actually yeah. <laughs> which is very naughty i do need a bigger art space because my bedroom now is is absolutely packed with different things um that I've been collecting <laughs> so I do need a, an art space now um but yeah in my bedroom just sit sitting there as I say sitting up in my room <laughs> and then um, yeah I look out of the window because I've, I've got a nice view outside my bedroom window because it's a hilly well when you go over the, the, the houses you can see the hill so yeah. it's a nice it's a nice view when it gives me peace of mind brilliant yeah. lovely that was great. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. So in terms of your personal identity hmm. and your sense of who you are, hmm. how important to you is being an artist? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, it's very important because um, being a black woman and um, at the minute I, I know that, you know, with Black Lives Matter and everything that goes on with um, black people, especially in this country and other countries, it's really hard to be seen. Um, so for me to be an artist, to be able to express myself um, from a black perspective um, is very important because I like quite a lot of things. And um, but sometimes when you're seeing it through the eyes of different people, you actually see something different and um, yeah so I think it's very important for black and brown people everybody it doesn't matter to express themselves yeah and what they're feeling yeah. and what they you know healing it's healing definitely yeah absolutely well, yeah thank you <laughs> okay <That's> brilliant <laughs> so finally mm -hmm. how would you sum up the reason why you create art The reason why I create art, it's just simple. I love it and I, I've got a passion for it and I love being expressive and I love being loud. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's the reason I do it, for the love of it. And it gives me peace of mind. Lovely, yeah. brilliant. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So thank you, Juliet, for joining us today on Art Den. It's been a pleasure speaking with you and we wish you all the best for the future. Thank you for having me. <laughs> and to you, the audience, thank you for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to Kirkley's Local TV on YouTube to get our latest videos first. And we'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.